Hello, this is Piotr Mikhail Kosta speaking, and this is news from the Panasonic S1H and the Blackmagic HDR 12G. So, why is this important today? Because today, this monitor recorder that was a normal 4K recorder became a B-RAW 6K recorder into this S1H. So it will record 6K if you want to be accurate it's like 5.9K and why is this important? Because you are saying oh of course but the camera already record ProRes RAW into the Atmos Ninja 5. Of course it did. I had one, I sold it. Why did I sold my Atmos Ninja 5? Because you recorded 5.9 just for the purpose, let's call it 6K. You recorded 6K in ProRes RAW. If you are a DaVinci Resolve user, the DaVinci Resolve does not accept ProRes RAW because it's from Apple. Of course, I use Apple all the time, but I use DaVinci Resolve all the time. So I, I, in order to use the ProRes RAW uh, 12 bit, I had to convert it in ProRes RAW uh, 4444 in compressor. And after I ended up with a very good ProRes file, but with no RAW. So before I had this very good camera with the Ninja 5, but in DaVinci, no RAW. In this case, that's um, something new, something brilliant. So you have this amazing camera. It's for me the best mirrorless camera for shoot uh, cinema and video, whatever you like. I have Red, Alexa, Canon, Sony. Even this episode is being recorded with the GH5. But this camera really is uh, something amazing, something different. Um, as you can see in here, I can now select the first that is Blackmagic RAW. You have ProRes, uh, DN, AX, HR, you have STI, HDMI, but now you can select Blackmagic RAW. Yeah. And why is important the Blackmagic RAW? Because part of the processing of this RAW is done on the file. So when the RAW goes to the computer, the CPU works less because you already know something about this file, about this RAW. The other RAWs that are on the market, um, all the processing is done on the computer. Because imagine if, um, um, if the image goes to the computer and the computer already knows something on the file, it will work less. And why is important RAW? Because the, um, the color is not close. If the pixel see a, a yellow color in a normal codec, the computer reads a yellow. But in RAW, no, uh, in RAW, if the pixel is yellow, but the information that goes to the, the computer is not yellow. It's the, the RGB of the pixel separated. So you, after you can correct white balance, choose a lot of different settings that you want even correct highlight shadows in a more efficient way than um, a ProRes or another codec. So this recorder became a 6K recorder. For the people that know what is 6K, it's four screens, 4K. So imagine 4K is four screens, full HD. 6K is four screens, 4K. It's a huge amount of data, but because of the B-RAW is a, such a very efficient RAW file, it will play on DaVinci Resolve on a good machine like a, a 1080p. Um, to do the, the upgrade on the camera, I will leave the, the link below. And uh, also from the recorder, you need to go to the Panasonic firmware website. You need to download the, firm, the correct firmware the, for this camera the S1H, you need to put it on a um, SD card. But remember, 
disconnect the if you have an HDMI connected disconnect it because with the HDMI connected the camera will not perform the the firmware update and for the black magic you go to the black magic you download the firmware for the recorder you install an app and by USB C that connects on the bottom of the recorder you will get your firmware updated you need also from the black magic you need to update your davinci resolve for the latest version that comes that came out today and also the b-roll that came out today so for this to work you need to update your camera your recorder your davinci resolve and your b-roll codec and why i love this camera you can record how many hours do you like the camera will never 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 overheat this camera does not overheat you can record 4k 6k without a single problem of overheating because it's air ventilated and for me as i have many cameras from many brands it's the most accurate camera in terms of white balance all the, the other brands they have a slightly personality in the white balance this camera is amazing and of course i told you uh, you can record to uh, sd or you can record into you know that uh, samsung drives ssd drives the t5 you can connect it one here in the bottom in sd and usb c port this usb c port is for you to do the upgrade is for you to connect an external drive and record b-roll directly into the drive and also with this um, latest firmware you can do also something amazing uh, that if you connect a camera to this recorder and connect a cable to the computer your uh, meeting software will recognize this as a oh what happened slip don't slip please not now uh, what happened is the camera that is connected to the recorder the software will recognize it as a webcam so you can use for your meetings a setting like this to do your meetings with a great image and for me it's, it was uh, a great improvement now uh, here on the top uh, we can read format 3312p so you passed from 2100 lines to 3300 lines vertical lines and in here you can choose uh, from different formats like magic raw prores and uh, whatever you can apply a lot into the file um, and that's it it's uh, great news great firmware uh, because i will i was a little bit annoyed when i shoot uh, with this camera uh, you have a small video that i made for the road contest that is on on this channel um, I made it with the uh, Atmos Ninja 5 in uh, ProRes RAW, but in order to to do some grade in, and uh, to edit on DaVinci Resolve, I had to convert everything in ProRes 444. It was a little bit of annoying. With this system, it's straight away. You should go to the camera or to the hard drive or to the SD, go straight to the DaVinci Resolve and you can start working straight away. Um, and one thing that I like is uh, in this uh, Blackmagic you have HDMI and SDI. In uh, Atmos Ninja 5 you had to buy a spare part to put on the battery holder uh, to add SDI input output to your recorder. And why do I need SDI? Because I have uh, Ahi Alexa and uh, the Red Dragon. They both have SDI and of course they will not record high resolution files to this but uh, sometimes you need to use it as a monitor um, so i'm using this uh, universal rig uh, 
so I can install this magic arm in the monitor because I don't like to put monitors on the hot shoe of the camera because it's not so strong and can be damaged easily. Um, and that's it. If you like this video, please subscribe, help me to raise and support my channel and see you soon with some shoots that I will be doing with this camera, with this recorder in B-Raw and graded and color corrected in DaVinci Resolve. So stay tuned for my next episodes that I will bring you, for me, one of the best systems in the world. Bye-bye. Thumbs up.